welcome to the bunnies i am going to show you on this vlog our house when it is dressed for christmas so merry christmas guys come in come in of course you know welcome to our kalat <laughs> the shoes are welcoming you landing you will already be greeted with uh, a wooden wreath and then look at this i got this from ikea oh but i mood lighting tayo jan and then my friend vault was the one who actually fixed up a lot of these things and then he saw these wreaths na ornaments with our our names this is actually a painting of my niece she did this like what more than 15 years ago One of the first few things that I had them do in this house when we were renovating it, sabi ko, gusto ko, pagpasok ng tao, nagigat sila kaagad yung value ng pamilya na to. And as you can see, it's like books. Our uh, ano ba, love story is kind of intertwined with books. So, moving on. Welcome to our dining, which is new. <laughs> I had just bought an IKEA dining table and the reason for that was nasisira lang ng mga anak ko because they were small and you know they didn't know how to take care of things so I said I wanted to buy something that you know didn't break my heart kung masira nila matapunan nila ng kung ano masulata nila ganyan but you know they've gotten older ever since they are a bit more careful they can understand instructions and I think that's one of the things that I want to share with all of you na if you feel like your house is like all always changing it is because people in it are evolving especially if you have the small kids i feel like that's the case for me na i need to update over and over my home kasi kailangan kung ano yung developmental stage ng anak ko parang bagay sa kanila kung ano yung mga furniture pieces ko or di kaya parang yung layout ng bahay ko and you'll see more of that as we move to the other side but let's go back to the table this is from gentil if you guys get my personality i'm not a very linear person so as you can see my chairs are all different and this would be nicer if walang mancha pero may mancha <laughs> kasi may anak ako eh <laughs> oh wow may mga nata <laughs> realistic <laughs> Sabi ko sa inyo eh, kinaniniwala sa house tour ko kasi ano lang yan, uh, itsura lang malinis, maayos kanyan. Pero mamaya, wala na ulit lahat siya. So yes, this is Manus Ninangs. And then this one is also from Ikea. It's like a director's chair. So masarap siya upuan. This is, um, well, of course, by my friend, Vault. She arranged it. And then I've got like a fake plant over there. Later on, I'll show you that I plug it. There are Christmas lights. So yeah, well, I'll show you later when it's lit up. It's very, very nice. So here's the next corner. This is the piano of my mother-in-law. Can you imagine my husband and his brothers all played on this piano? So this is already kaedad na nila to. In fact, sira na ng upuan. So kailangan ng kailangan na siyang gawain, di ba? And also what's on top is the Christmas town of my mother-in-law. So when they left for Singapore, they like portioned out all of their mga stuff na very sentimental to them, na ayaw nila ibenta. Tapos uh, sabi ko, sige mom, kukunin ko yung Christmas town so I can have a little bit of Bonifacios in my home. Moving on to the living area, which is, you know, a real living active area for us because this is where we move mostly stay like as a family I've got a new couch and the reason for having a new couch is isang araw sabi lang sa akin ng panganay ko ni Philip na our house is um too white sabi ko what too white 
So, nung bored ka na ba? Ganyan. Sabi ko, maghanap tayo ng makulay na bagay. Nung nakakita ako ng green couch sa IKEA, and this is not sponsored, okay? Pumasa naman siya sa aking boys. And so, we have this couch. May secret dyan. Ito rin siya, which is very useful. For homes. Yay! O, oh, diba? May storage space siya. So, lahat ng mga extra blankies namin, we put it there. Tsaka lahat ng sama ng ugali ko, nilalagay ko rin dyan pag may guest cafe. Our living area is a bit different because it's so child-friendly. You see a lot of like influencers and families posting their living areas or houses. And they all kind of like showroom. And I would love to have something like that. The reality is what makes my boys develop and flourish is a home that's like this. Why do I have this here? Because I don't know. Small kids always need table, no? Parang kailangan nila magsulat, magdrawing. So when they want to write, they could just grab a pen from here and then get their paper here. And why is that so? You know how they say that kids write on walls and adults get mad at them? We don't know usually is that they are developing something in them. That is why they want to keep writing. And the solution is not to make them stop writing, but to give them an area where they can actually write. So I've got my coffee table where my candles are for Christmas, for the Christmas Advent. The four candles there, the hope, peace, joy, and love. We've got four meetings with the family. We've done already two to discuss these words and also, you know, the real meaning of Christmas with the boys. This is very new. This is also by Gentile. This was not originally here and I wasn't really planning to get anything like this until oh, anak ko parang lagi na lang nasa device. Bakit hindi na rin sila nagbabasa? And I was thinking, what did I do wrong? I realized that I moved all of our books downstairs. Sabi ko, alam mo, what you don't see, you don't remember. You What you don't see, you actually forget. Sabi ko, I need to put the books back on this floor. Marami rin nagtatanong sa akin na parents, How do you get your children reading? I actually read this in a book before eh, na they made a study about families of like readers. What was a contributing factor to that family kung bakit sila nagbabasa? It is that they were surrounded by books. Their parents didn't need to tell them na magbasa kayo. Ang ginawa lang nila, nandyan yung libro, bahala na kayo. And I guess it's true, di ba? Whatever is there. Kung nandyan yung chips, ubusin mo. Kung nandyan yung TV, bubuksan mo. Di ba? Parang I mean like, the moment you find yourself not doing anything, what do you do? What is the first thing that you will reach for? So, if you have books all over your house, then I guess you've just given them a way to make books the first option. Di ba? This one is specifically for Advent. Every day, they open this and they have a... Meron kang bubuksan na papel and then it says something. So like this one says to claim the gift. So iba-ibang experiences yan until 24. And then this one is quite new. This is my first time to try a block play couch. So my sister recommended it to me. The beauty of this couch is that it's like Lego. Pwede mo siya iba-ibahin ng position. Or if you wanna like put this on top of this, ganyan. Tapos gawin mo siyang medyo parang TP. So there are many ways that you could fix this couch. This is also my in-laws. I think this is a Buji Live piece, so it's a very, very nice piece. And again, I love pieces that hand it down to you, so you have a little bit of your ancestors. Ancestors! 
This is uh, from Ikea also. This is Trofast. It's a way of, again, hiding all your kalat. But not really kalat. But sabi ko, I'll put a corner there for your Legos. But your job is to sort them in colors and in pieces. So, yun yung ginawa nila. And they say that it has made them more creative and more, more excited to create when things are in order. So, kids actually thrive in order as well. I don't have a Christmas tree. I have Christmas trees. Sabi ko, gusto ko yung medyo parang pine forest yung dating, ganyan. So, bumili ako ng tatlo na mag different height, ganyan. And you'll see the third one over here. So, because the layout of my, my house is pretty much very open, that you could change it up every now and then. So, last year, magkakatabi yung Christmas tree. Ngayon, yung isa naman, hiniwalay namin to put it here. And then, we've got a small Belen over there. And then, this one, super lights up at night. So, makikita nyo na very, very soon. That is it for my little Christmas decorated house tour. And that now, I am going to show you what happens when it is already night in the Bonnie household? Merry Christmas, everyone! Welcome to the Bonnie household at night. I hope you like our Christmas decorations and um, I guess you don't really get a sense of it until it becomes night. I mean, what is Christmas without light? After all, that is the message of Christmas that the light of the world is with us, Emmanuel with us, and uh, he makes our burdens light. It has made the song, Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas, Let Your Heart Be Light, more meaningful to me. Parang na napaisip ako na, ang ganda palang sabihin nun sa isang tao no na Nagayang Pasko sa'yo at sana maging light yung puso mo. And that can only really be achieved by having the light of the world in our hearts. You know, look at the world today. I mean, amidst all the wars, and if you're very current in your social media, you would hear about Palestine and all the killings. It's so hard to believe that there is Christmas when things like this happen. But this is why we need the light. And light shines the best in the darkness. So I really wish that your heart will be light this Christmas and that your burdens will be light for 2024. I hope that whatever you saw on this vlog today will not be a pressure to you. I know that, you know, online when you see people dressing up their homes for Christmas and you're thinking na, Oh my gosh, ako wala pa. Isang malit na dekorasyon, di ko man lang netayo sa bahay ko. Please don't be pressured. That is not the goal of this vlog. Because for many, many years, I tell you, I'm cramming my Christmas decorations because I'm always too busy doing this, do doing that. Pagtingin ko, oh my gosh, third week of December na wala pa ang Christmas tree. So please don't worry if you're like that right now. The point is not the Christmas decoration. The point is the light of the world came and to have that kind of light is the most powerful thing that you can ever have in your life. Tuloy na tuloy pa rin ang Pasko. Merry Christmas, everyone! And maybe when I see you again, meron tayong magandang topic. So, abangan nyo yan next week. But until then, bye! How can I be grateful in the midst of my grief? I've been grieving already like two years na. Ang so, narang naisip ko, sana yung grief pa rin ako para I still feel more connected. I would pray na, Lord, let, don't let me ever forget her voice. Mm. And you haven't? And you know, therapy really helped. Prayer helped. Therapy helped. Talking to people have helped. Sabi nila, when a person dies, there are two afterlifes. The first is the afterlife of the soul of the dead na pupunta sa heaven with our Creator. The second afterlife is the life that the people left behind. The life that they have to live after the passing of this person. I chose na to honor my mom. Honoring her would be living my life.